Unavailable. Book 1 in the Justified Affair series. Part 4 I led her to the lounge. It's a nice space. She nodded, looking around the room. A brighter color scheme would work better though. What do you think? I smiled, I'm not gonna argue. You're the expert. She laughed loudly, much louder than the sentence warranted. Then her eyes landed on the baby grand piano in the far corner of the room. I love houses with pianos. I can't play to save my life, but there's something very, sexy about them. All those keys, all those fingers. She licked her lips and side-eyed me. At least, I thought she was side-eyeing me. I wasn't sure. I was too busy watching her mouth, wanting to press my own against it. Do you play? I knew I had my sign, she'd made it pretty obvious. Who in their right mind would call a piano sexy if they weren't thinking about screwing? I can play one tune only, which is kinda odd, because I'm really good with my fingers, I said confidently. When she turned to face me she wore a daring half-smile that sent a spasm of excitement coursing through my body. Then she turned away, looked at the piano again and said in a low, raspy voice, I'd really like to see that. How about you put your money where your mouth is? I had a cheeky comeback for that, but thought it would have been a little too risque, considering I still didn't have confirmation that I had a shot. I could have been barking up the wrong tree. She strolled leisurely over to the piano and sat on the mahogany stool, leaving me space to squeeze on beside her. I stretched my fingers and she kept her eyes glued on them, looking hungrily at them. Her thigh pressed against mine. Let's see. I hit a few keys, making a tuneless melody. It's been years since I played a note. I eased into the only tune I knew, a tune I'd made up when I was a teenager. It was as crap then as it was now, and sounded worse because she was listening to it. After a minute of my painful playing, I felt a hand slip onto my thigh, which stopped me abruptly mid-note. I stared down at Deborah's hand, sitting so invitingly, then I met her gaze. Why don't you show me what else you can do with your fingers, she breathed. Well if that was what you wanted all along, why didn't you just say that instead of making me embarrass myself with my awful piano playing? She laughed, letting her hand travel to the top of my cargo pants before slipping it in. The rest of this story is too steamy for YouTube. To listen to it in full, go to my website, www.hlowbooks.com. Link also available in the description box.